I'm here with the big nasty himself, Mr. Ronnie Coleman. You're back in the UK. How are you finding it so far? Everything's going pretty good. You know, it's always good to be here. I, I, I've been coming here now since they started this thing, and uh, every year it seems like it gets, gets a little bit bigger and a little bit better, so I'm always glad to come back here. Ronnie, you had surgery in February. Uh, just tell us a little about that and how the kind of the recovery's going. Well, it was an 11, hour, 11 and a half hour surgery, almost 12 hours. What happened was I had a broken bone in my back, and I had uh, some screws that had broken from a prior surgery. So what they were basically doing was fixing one that had uh, happen, uh, happened before. So I had this surgery back, uh, I think it was July of 2015. So what they basically did it was uh, put six screws in, two cages, and two plates. So they had to uh, cut me from the, uh, the back to put in uh, the plates. And uh, the cages were so big, they had to cut me from the side to put those in. So uh, it was a pretty in-depth surgery. So uh, it's going to take about six months for everything to heal up. Uh, like I said, there was six screws, two plates, and two cages. But all in all, everything's doing pretty good, though. Good. The, re the rehabilitation, how's that going? Yeah, I'm still uh, still in. Uh, I was in the hospital for a, a whole month. And then uh, I'm going to... Uh, rehabilitation training about like two or three times a week yeah, so everything's going pretty good so far well, now, I thought I'd ask you because obviously you're the, the man to know and you know being eight time Mr. Olympia one of your obviously old uh, competitors has obviously announced last week he's making a comeback Mr. Kevin Lavrone what's your thoughts on that oh uh, I think it's the best thing ever I, I, I'd do anything in the world right now if I could come back <laughs> but you know I had so much fun when I was there that uh I thought it would never end, and uh, I, to be honest with you, I, I truly miss it each and every single day. So, I think obviously Kevin coming back. Where do you think he could, you know, realistically place? Shucks, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. I don't really know, uh, you know, how his body held up. Uh, I remember this guy named uh, what's his name? Uh, he competed till he was 61. Albert Beck. Albert Beck. Yeah, he, he won a pro show when he was uh he was 60 years okay, old. He came up second to Haney in like 84 or 85, didn't he, I think? Yeah, yeah, and uh, when he was 60, he won a pro show yeah. competing against... It was Ni the Niagara Pro Show, I think he won, wasn't yeah, it? Uh-huh, yeah, and he won, won against guys, you know, 20 and 30 years old, and he was 60, so uh, Kevin's a whole lot younger, so I think he should do pretty, he should do pretty good. Now, you just touched on said you miss it, you know, kind of every day. Oh, yeah. Looking back now, is there, is there anything you'll do different at all? No, not really. Uh, I, I, I can't. I can't think of nothing. Uh, only thing uh, I wish I would have trained a little bit heavier on some things. You know, I, I, I live uh, like a powerlifting style of training, so I always trained real heavy. But because I was bodybuilding, I wasn't able to train that heavy. So I sometimes wish I could have did you know a little bit heavier training. So I, a little bit heavier. Yeah, a little bit heavier. You know, I didn't. I didn't. People think you know 800 pounds and. That 2,300 pound leg press was heavy, but I don't really think that's real heavy, you know, com comparing it to some of the things the guys are doing, you know, nowadays. But uh, I, I wish I could, you know, w was able to do that style of tra training more than, you know, than I did because, like I said, bodybuilding kind of helped me back. You know, I started out powerlifting, and that's what my true love really is. So. Ronnie, are you here for all three days? Oh yeah, I'll be here every day. <laughs> and he's staying in the UK. You going on after he? See, he kind of staying to see some of the UK, or you, where are you going next? No, no, I, I have a tour that I'm gonna be doing, but uh, it's probably next month. Uh, so uh, I, I'll be leaving Monday and coming back again to do a, a tour here. So uh, you know, I just look forward to that. <laughs> Ronnie, I'll let you finish off with one of your signature sayings. I'll let you choose. Yeah, buddy. There you go, baby. RxMuscle.com.